In this video, we're going to show you how to tie the FG knot the quickest way possible. And this FG knot is, is just an awesome knot. It's a must-know for those who use braid. Uh, the reason is because it is incredibly strong. It actually won our, our strongest knot contest for going directly from braid to a fluorocarbon leader. But and not only is it getting the strongest, but it's also the thinnest. As you can see here, this is a completed knot. It is incredibly thin. All it really is is braid that's wrapped around a single strand of your leader. So that and it will not pull off. So there's zero way that it could be any skinnier, and this thing will not pull. This 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 knot here will not pull. The the more with more the more force you add to it, just the stronger and the stronger the knot becomes. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll show you the, again the quickest way to tie it. So the step one, the, the most important thing is to have have a way to get tension onto your braid. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna have tension on our braid, and then we're gonna just essentially wrap. We're gonna thread the leader onto it and. How we usually get tension out in a boat is I'll just, um, this is the tagging of course, and this is the line that goes to the rod. I would just lean the rod away from me. That way, that, that just the gravity forcing that rod away is enough, is enough tension to tie the knot. So right now we actually have a, a TV remote that's tied off to the end of this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it off the chair so that we have the tension. So now we have just, again, just a little bit of tension is, uh, is necessary to tie this correctly. And the best way to do it is just to put the tag in in your mouth so the tag end of the braid goes in your mouth, and then we're gonna, I'll show you how to thread the leader line onto the braid so that you get the strongest knot possible. So really the first step is to just hover the line over, hover the leader over the line, and going away from you first, going towards the rod, you just go around, around the line one time, and pull it straight. Then we do the same thing going towards us. Pull it straight. Another towards the rod, straight and back towards us straight. So that was a total of four times we did. We did one, two, three, four. So we needed to do a total of 20 times. We, I usually use 20 to 22 uh, wraps to, to make this not the strongest. So we'll go ahead and just do those right now. And every time too, you always wanna make sure that you pull this, this uh, the leader line straight. That way that these, these loops, these coils, form right on top of each other. So let's go ahead and do uh, five through 20. All right, so there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. All right, so there's 20. As you can see, these coils are all right there bound on top of one another. So now we need to lock, we need to lock that in place. So at this point, we can take the tension off the line. And so we're gonna do uh, two hitch knots. And, I'll, and these hitch knots need to go around both the braid and the leader. And all it is is really just do a, a, a loop and then go through the loop and pull it tight. And what, that, what that's gonna do, that's gonna, that's gonna just cinch the knot that's, that's gonna hold all those coils into place. So there's one, so now we can really take our, our finger off of it because these, these coils are all now bound together uh, with that hitch knot. So let's do one more just to ensure that we don't uh, lose any, any tension there. We need to do it around, again around both. Oh, let's start that one over. We wanna make sure you're able to see that. So we have the tag end going down, we have the line going out to the rod, as well as the tag end of the, the fluorocarbon going up to the left. So we just need to do a simple hitch knot. So again, we just do a a loop, go through that loop with this tag end of the braid, and then we'll go ahead and pull it tight. You can see we'll just pull it all the way tight and then get all the way down to that knot. There we are. So now we have we have our, our loops all cinched there together. At this point we'll go ahead and grab the two main lines and just pull the entire thing tight. Just go ahead and pull it, pull it there tight. So now we can uh, clip the uh, clip the the fluorocarbon leader off, and at this point you can, you can really cut it as just cut it as close as you possibly can, without nicking the braid. There you are, and so now we have this is this is really it, and and to to make this right now this is really smooth except there's you can barely the tag end will barely if you do reel through the rods this tag end will could could possibly you know catch on the rod tips just just barely though so you don't have to do this, but what I typically do is I do two more hitch knots. Just to make sure that that tag that there's no, uh, I guess there's nothing at the end that that 
that can uh, catch on to the rod. So I just do, you know, again a hitch knot there, another hitch knot, and that is it. So that's now we can clip the the end of it. There we are. So now we have again the strongest and and thinnest not possible for, for going to braid to, to fluorocarbon leader. So uh, that's it. If you do have any questions on how to tie it, please let us know. You can leave a, a comment down below. But uh, otherwise, hope we can get out of the water soon and catch some big ones.